so this event is hosted jointly between CETUS, um, SQA, the JISC RSC Scotland and the Alt Scotland Special Interest Group. However, credit for the original impetus for this meeting really has to go to Joe Wilson of SQA. Um, unfortunately, Joe can't be with us today, but don't feel too sorry for him because he's actually just off on his holidays today. Um, in 2012, uh, Joe Wilson and I were both at the OER conference in Cambridge, which was run jointly with the Open Courseware Consortium. And Sir John Daniel was presenting a keynote on UNESCO's Government OER Draft Declaration Consultation. At the time, there had been no formal response from the UK. However, Westminster did subsequently respond, and that was in no small part due to encouragement from JISC, and I think David Kernahan, who's here today, was instrumental in getting a response to that consultation. However, as far as we know, the consultation document didn't make it north of the border, and there was no formal response from the Scottish Government or from anyone in Scotland, indeed. At the same time, HEFKE funded uh, UK OER programmes, which were being run by JISC and the Higher Education Academy, were making huge strides in releasing open, open educational resources and embedding open practice in institutions south of the border. Now, while Scottish education can benefit from the resources produced by the UK OER programmes, institutions have been slower to respond to the cultural shift required to embed open practice in education. And these are the two factors that prompted uh, Joe to suggest that it would be useful for, for um, organisations such as ALT, CETUS and uh, the RSC to work together to raise awareness of the benefits of openness in education and support the development of open education policy and open policy in general in Scotland. We hope that this event will provide a starting point to identify shared strategic interests and to start developing open policies and practices that will benefit the Scottish education sector as a whole. Hopefully this will go some way towards helping us to achieve the benefits identified by the UNESCO and accompanying their Paris OER declaration. UNESCO believes that universal ac access to high quality education is key to the building of peace, sustainable social and economic development and intercultural dialogue. Open educational resources provide a strategic opportunity to improve the quality of education as well as facilitate policy dialogue, knowledge sharing and capacity building. Now, we're very lucky to have uh, Dr. Cable Green, um, Creative Commons Director of Global Learning here today to present the Open Scotland keynote. But before I could pass on to Cable, um, I just want to give a very brief introduction to CETUS, because I know that there are many colleagues here in the room who have, who have worked with CETUS for a number of years, but there are some who have perhaps um, not come across us before. So very briefly, uh, CETUS is the Centre for Educational Technology and Interoperability Standards and we are a national innovation support centre providing advice to UK higher and post-16 education sectors on educational technology and interoperability standards. Uh, the organisation is run from the University of Bolton in partnership with Heriot Watt University and we currently have five staff located here in Scotland. I'm based in Glasgow. Uh, Wilbert Cran, one of the other assistant directors, is in Edinburgh, as is Phil Barker uh, and Martin Hoxie, and Sheila McNeil is based in Glasgow along with me. Um, I'm not going to read the CETUS uh, mission statement to you, but we will put these slides up on SlideShare so you can read it yourself. But uh, basically what we do is we provide strategic and policy advice on the use of technology in education, particularly the, the use of innovative technology and interoperability standards are very much at the core of what we do. CETUS have had a long um, association with JISC, uh, who indeed funded us for a number, uh, many years, um, originally as a project between 2001 and 2005, and subsequently as an innovation support centre between 2006 and 2013. And during that time, we provided the JISC with strategic technical input and guidance. We supported many of the JISC development programmes and we also represented the JISC community on a wide range of international standards bodies. Now, like I said, interoperability standards and open standards are very much at the core of what we do. And it, for over 10 years now, we've been representing UK higher and further education on a wide range of standards bodies, including the British Standards Institute, the IMS Global Learning Consortium, and the Senai SSSS Learning Technology Workshop, and we're delighted to actually have the chair of that workshop here today, Turi Hul from Norway. 
Um, we also are very active in community engagement and engaging the community around uh, a wide range of aspects related to educational technology. These are just some of the areas that we've been active in over the last few years. Open educational resources, obviously, widgets, semantic technologies, QTI profiling, that's the IMS assessment specification, competencies, and more recently, we've done a lot of work in the area of e-books, analytics, and of course, the inevitable MOOCs. We also make extensive use of social network technologies, not just to disseminate our own activities, but also to support and build community engagement. Um, and we also use network analysis techniques to monitor and visualize community engagement and develop the development of social networks around technology use in education. And if you're particularly interested in this aspect of your work, then Martin Hawks is the man to speak to, so do please uh, grab him for a chat today. And I can also highly recommend uh, the work that Martin publishes on his blog. Um, CETIS has a, a wide range of communication channels, um, including our website, um, which pulls in uh, feeds from all our staff blogs, all CETIS staff blog about their work, um, events they attend, new technology initiatives, um, so our web presence is always changing. Um, if you go to the, the CETIS website today, it looks like that. If you go and visit the CETIS website about two months down the line, it will look something like this. We're in the process of updating our web presence. Uh, we also produce um, a wide range of publications, including uh, briefing papers, some of which are focused on uh, specific standards and specifications, others which are uh, longer series which um, explore different aspects of technological approaches, such as the CETIS Analytics series, uh, which is proving um, to be very popular at the moment. We've had a lot of downloads of that recently. And we also um, undertake um, larger pieces of work, such as horizon scanning and this um, ebook, Into the Wild, which is a synthesis of three years of um, technology innovation centred around the hefty funded UK OER programmes. And that book is uh, free to download. It's also available in a wide range of formats. Um, we host a wide range of, act of events, as I said, some of which occasionally have network access. Um, online seminars, community events. Um, we've got a long history of running um, interoperability testing events, um, such as code bashes and plug fests, um, and also hack days and technical developer events. And we run an annual conference. Um, and in fact, this year, the conference, um, which was held in Birmingham in February, um, and the focus of that was open for education, technology innovation in universities and colleges. So openness is very much at the heart of what we do. Uh, we work with many partners, um, both within the UK and internationally, um, and we recently have been doing a lot more work in Scotland, because although we have staff based here in Scotland, a lot of our work has been uh, facing the English institutions. Um, however, recently we have been doing a lot more work north of the border. Um, as I said, we work closely with the Alt Scotland SIG, the RSC Scotland, and the SQA, also uh, Joram, who are represented here today and who work with um, the College Development Network and their resource repository. Um, last year, we did some work with the Social Media Week initiative that was on in Glasgow, and we've just recently started working with um, Gla the Glasgow Future Cities Demonstrator. So that's just a very, very quick run through of um, who we are and what we do. Um, so, I'd now like to pass over to Cable Green, who will be um, presenting the Open Scotland keynote. Um, Cable works with the global edu open education community to leverage open licensing, open education resources, and open policies to improve access to quality education and research resources, so everyone in the world can attain the education they desire. Cable has 15 years experience of academic technology, online learning and open education in the higher education sector and recently led a project to build and share a general education curriculum under the CC BY licence. Cable holds a PhD in educational psychology from Ohio State University and tweets at C Green. <laughs> 